In today's story, I'll be telling you about small monkeys and preserving forest environments. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project, where I'm painting 193 portraits of 193 people, each from different countries, with each person involved in their country in a positive environmental action. And today it's the turn of country number 37, Colombia. The subject for my portrait for Colombia is Rosamira Guillem, Executive Director of Proyecto Titi, an organization operating in northern Colombia focusing on protecting cotton top tamarinds by working with local communities to sustainably preserve or restore the tamarinds' natural forest habitats. Colombia is a country in South America with insular regions in both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The Colombian mainland is bordered by the Caribbean Sea to the north, the Pacific Ocean to the west, and countries beginning with V, B, E, and two beginning with P. Environmental problems in Colombia include deforestation, soil erosion, and water pollution. Rosamira Guillén trained as an architect in her hometown of Barranquilla, Colombia. She loved the connection between design and nature, and after achieving a Fulbright scholarship, she received a master's degree in landscape architecture in the State University of New York in Syracuse. Rosamira's first job when she returned to Colombia was to remodel the Barranquilla Zoo. That's where she met cotton top tamarinds for the first time and learned they were only found in northern Colombia and were critically endangered due to deforestation and capture for the pet trade. She fell in love with the species and learned about Proyecto Titi when she became the director of the zoo. Rosamira and the zoo started collaborating with Proyecto Titi to create awareness about cotton tops. Rosamira ended up leaving the zoo and became Proyecto Titi's executive director in Colombia. That was 15 years ago. Rosamira reflects how funny life is sometimes, that it takes you to weird paths you may not have foreseen, but helps you find your way, your passion and your life mission. When Rosamira started working with Proyecto Titi, they aspired to save a species, but only had five people working in one location with very limited resources. Fifteen years later, the project works in three locations with 38 employees, most of them hired from the local communities, and with a solid strategic plan that focuses on reducing the threats cotton tops face. Proyecto Titi works in four main areas. Firstly, carrying out research on wild populations of cotton top tamarinds. Secondly, creating protected areas, both public and private, and working with local farmers to create and restore forest corridors to increase forest connectivity, a key issue for cotton tops to find resources and keep genetic viability. Thirdly, educating children and teens in the local communities. And finally, generating mutually beneficial agreements with local communities to reduce the need to use and exploit forest resources for subsistence. Rosamira has been able to grow the scope of the project's work and its impact to reach more communities and more audiences with their conservation message on behalf of the cotton tops and their forest home. This has created a sense of pride and a commitment to support the project's efforts to save a unique species from extinction and find a balance between the needs of local communities and the needs of wildlife. Rosamira has personally been responsible for the growth of the organisation, which translates into increasing their impact and generates more chances to achieve their mission to protect cotton top tamarinds and their forest home. 
Rosamira's work has had significant impact. The project has protected or restored over 6,000 hectares of forest in public protected areas, private protected areas and forest corridors on farmers' lands. 250 families are now involved with conservation agreements. The project educated more than 15,000 children to learn about and love cotton tops, to feel pride and get involved. If you'd like to find out more about Rosamira and Proyecto Titi, I've put some links in the description below. Final words from Rosamira are, we can all help, we can all make a difference. Just making small changes in your day-to-day -day life will contribute to a more environmentally conscious society. Get informed, learn, Give your five cents and make a difference. It's very easy. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and the Instagram page and the links are in the description below. Next time we'll be meeting someone protecting the ocean in Comoros. <laughs>